Maybe some of mine, maybe that will change their trends. Feeding them. Getting his dinner today. That's great. Yeah. No hand signal. No hand signal. Let's bring them to the mat. Let's gaze at the mat. They go down. You're going to say yes and reward them like crazy. Right. Do not hold treats in your hands. Keep your hand, treats away from your dog's face if they're trying to lie down. If they have it, because it should focus on the treat bag. Right. If they're not doing it, then use the hand signal again. And give them 15 treats in a row. Now you can reward with it. Okay, yeah. Very good. Okay, we're going to do this again. We're going to go ahead and release them from the mat. Okay, now, one more time, what we're going to do, no pointing at the mat, no using the cookie to lead them into the position. All you're going to do is walk them over towards the mat and gaze at the mat. We're looking for the dog to do this all by their lonesome. happens on the mat. Off of the mat, nothing happens. No treats, nothing. But if you continue to reward your mat dog for lying down on the mat, they're going to do it all by themselves, which is what we're looking for. Um, okay, let's, uh, we'll come back to this uh, in a bit. So why don't we go ahead and uh, just release them from the mat. And we'll put it away for the time being. Okay, we'll put it away for the time being. Can I ask you a question? Of course. It's Whenever I leash him at home, he gets excited because he thinks he's going out, right? Is there a way of training him to do this without a leash? Uh, no, I want him to do it with a leash because uh, we want to make sure that he's contained and working with you. It's fine, and I don't think that that's the problem here. Uh, I said, we'll just keep the leash on in here. I oh, sure no, I mean safe. at home. I, I would prefer you did it on leash at home as well. Okay. So what tends to happen, this is a great question for all, uh, a good uh, question and answer for all of us. When we're working at home and training our dogs at home, I do this as well. I leash my dogs when I'm working at home. What happens is your dog gets frustrated. If they haven't been rewarded for doing the proper behavior, they get frustrated. They do what we call a down. And that's basically just there. Like, I don't know what you want from me. I, I, I really don't want it. I don't care. I'm just going to go make my own fun now, and I'm going to go wander off, and I'm going to start sniffing. 
When you've got that leash on there, you have a little bit more control. You're working with the dog. There's a connection between you and dog. So anything you're feeling in that leash, it's feeding right down towards your dog. It's a great tool to be working with your dog when you're training new behaviors. Once you've learned the behavior with the leash, then by all means, go ahead and do it without the leash on. But you should be training it with the leash on at home. Even if you're in the kitchen and there's nothing going on, it's actually the best thing to be doing. Okay, so mats are off of the floor now. I want to work on um, our, our positions, our sits and downs. So remember, we're just using a hand signal only, and I just want to see what it looks like. So we're going to um, just have our dogs on our left hand side, so the leashes are going to be in your uh, left hand, so that's the hand closest to your dog. And uh, we're going to move about our space, and then I'm just going to say slow down, face your dog, use your hand signal, and sit your dog. Alright, so let's just go ahead and move them around your space. Want everybody to slow down, face your dog, use your hand signal, and sit your dog. Remember, to your right hand, your palm going up towards the sky. And try and keep a hand away from your body so it's not too close. It's this right hand going towards the ceiling. When they are in position, you mark it with yes. You're going to give yes. them a cookie, and then I want you to give them five more. Go ahead and we're going to release the dog. Okay. So you can do the same thing. We're just going to move around the space. When you're walking with your dog, we want you to stay connected with them as well. So look at them. Look at them when you're walking with them. All right, everybody slow down. Face your dog. Use your hand signal and sit your dog. <laughs> Perfect. When they sit, you say yes. Yes. You give them a cookie. Give them multiple after. Fantastic. All right. The next one we're going to do, I want to make sure that nobody has a cookie in their right hand. Your cookies are going to remain in your pocket or your tree pouch. Nothing in your hand. Okay? Everybody move, release your dogs and move them around your space. Okay. Move them around the space. Keep them on your left hand side. Jazzy. Slow down. Face your dog. Hand signal. Sit your dog. When they do it, you're going to say yes. You're going to reach in your pouch and you're going to reward them. Yes. Okay, what if he is sitting too early? That's fine. As long as he's okay. sitting right now. Okay, what we're going to start to do now is everyone give their dog multiple treats. I want everybody to, we're going to start moving away from our dog. But I don't want you to move away with food in your hand. Make sure there is no food in your hand. Take one step back, mark it with yes, come right back in, reward. One step back, mark it with yes, come right back in, reward. The dog should be remaining in a sit position. All right, let's give this one a go again. I want yes. everybody to release it yes. off, and we're going to move around the space. Yeah. Right. Try this one again. Again, I don't. please keep the cookies in your pouch. There shouldn't be cookies in your hand. Okay. Everybody slow down. Face your dog. Hand signal. Sit down. Reward your dog. Yes. Okay. Just reward your dog in multiple times. Five, six treats in a row, just for sitting. Okay. One right after another, just for sitting. With nothing in your hand, you're going to take one step straight back, mark it with yes if they don't move, and then come right back in and reward them. Come right back to where you started from to give them the cookie. Do not reach out in front to give them the cookie. I need you to step away, nothing in your hand, don't reach for cookies, nothing, just step away, mark it with yes, come right back in, then reach in the pocket to get the cookie out. Yes. Every time you reach for a cookie while you're away from your dog, they know what you're doing, and they're just going to say, hey, I can help you out. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get that cookie. All right. I'm going to keep doing this. Take a step away. Mark it with yes. Come right back in. Reward. Take a step away. Mark it with yes. Come right back in. Yes. Take a step away. Mark it with yes. Come right back in. Go ahead and release them. We're going to move them around the space a little bit. Okay, everybody slow down. Face your dog. And signal. Sit your dog. Okay, we're going to try a few steps away. Okay, so once you give your dog multiple treats for sitting, I want to see if you can try to do two steps away. Again, 
Be very careful when you're reaching for the cookie. You shouldn't be reaching for the cookie until you have returned to your starting position. Take two steps away, mark it with yes, come right back in, then reach in your pressure pocket to get the cookie. Okay, so um, if your dog is getting up, um, I promise you, if you keep doing the same thing, they're going to keep doing the same thing. So if your dog is getting up when you're taking two steps away, they're not ready for it. Go back to one step. Make it, let's help them out and make them successful. All right, try again, take two steps away.
that dogs actually learn from uh, hand signals and uh, and I want you to try again. Uh, are for people, not dogs. But a dog must know the physical behavior before you can actually pass a verbal cue. So I want to make sure that they can actually do these behaviors every single time. Um, okay, what I want to work on now, I want to take a look at our puzzle game. So uh, just again, a little refresher. That's the game where we have the cookies in the hand, multiple cookies in our hand, and then and move out to the side of our body. The dog is sitting in front. Dogs are looking at the handful of cookies when they look away from the food and look at you. You say yes, open up your hand, take the cookie out, and give it to them. Just a reminder again, please don't take a handful of cookies and dip them the cookie and then pull your hand away. Uh, I like saying it's like somebody pulling a bag of m ms away from me. And you want it? You want it? No, you can't have it now. Just remove the cookie with your other hand and give it to them. Yeah. Okay, they look away from the food, say yes, and give them the cookie. The hand with the cookies in it, I want you to think of it as like a tree branch. It doesn't move. It's stuck. It's like a steel rod. It doesn't move. <laughs> yes. 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 And what this game is all about is um, having our dogs make the correct choice. They're looking away from something that they want and choosing to look at us. What they're learning here, they're basically asking permission to get the things that they want. Now this can be translated into things on your walk. Maybe yes. you're seeing another dog coming yes. towards you that they want to play with. I want your dog to be checking in with you and then to say, hey, is it okay if I go say hello to that dog? When they look at you, then that's your choice. To say, okay, go play. Uh, yes. If you uh, are walking with your dog and they want to go uh, sniff a, a tree or a bush, rather than them pulling you over yes. towards that tree or bush, I want your dog yes. to be looking at you first, choosing to look at you first. Yes. When they do, yes, and then yes. you can release them to go get the thing that they want. Everything they want comes with a price. That price tag, yes. look at me first. Right? It is not solicited behavior, yes. and it is your dog are choosing to make that choice all by themselves. Karen, what do you do when I have a sandwich tonight and you came and tried to take it straight out of my hand? Okay, so that's a, a completely different exercise, and okay. you know, that, that's something that we can address, um, you know, later. Maybe okay. with an email to the office. Okay. okay. Open a little bit rather than a closed palm. I want the hands open a little bit. 
and I'd like you to lower it maybe down to your hip level. So this is gonna make it a little bit more challenging for the dog. Yes. Okay, same exercise. Yes. The dog looks away from the handful of food and looks at him and gives him the cookie. If the dog yes. goes for the handful of food, please don't say no or uh-uh or make a noise. All you're gonna do is you close your fist. That's yes. It. Close your fist if they go for it. Okay, if that's open hand, they get up and come for it, just close your fist. That's it. Yes. Very good. Yes. That's a good one, puppy. Jazzy, Jazzy. 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 Jazzy.
Good job. Okay, let's release them from okay. this. Okay. Okay. I want to go back and do some sits, but I would like them to sit on our left hand side. So, first thing you need to do, we're going to get them to sit in front of us. So, just have your dog sit in front of you, using your hand signal. And in the middle of your space, so I'm just sitting in front of you. Now, I would like your dogs to be sitting on your left hand side. The best way to do this is just to move you. You just move. You move in beside your dog so they are now on your left hand side. Now, if, they're go if they start moving, we're going to help you with this. Okay, let's get them into a sit in front of them, uh, in front of you. Okay, you're going to take a giant treat with your left hand. You're going to stick it on their nose. I want them to lick it. Put the treat right on the nose with your left hand. I want you now to move in beside them. Don't let them touch the treat. Let them lick it. I want them. It's not leaving your hand. You're just, they're going to lick it, and you are just going to move in beside them so you're on, they're on your left hand side. Okay. Start with them in front. Put the cookie directly on the dog's nose. On the nose. Let, I want them to, so try not to pull the hand away. I try not to pull your hand away. Just let them lick it and then move in beside them. Perfect. Keep feeding them. Okay, now you can feed them. I want you to just keep rewarding them for sitting on your left hand side. Okay, keep rewarding them more for sitting on your left hand side. Multiple treats are just sitting there on your left hand side. Okay, now what we're doing right now with our dog on our left hand side, this is called heel position. So this is how we're supposed to be walking our dog as well, sitting on our left hand side. Okay, keep feeding them. Don't give them the opportunity to get up. I want them to love this new place. This is the new favorite place. What you can start to do now, while they're on your left hand side, you can start feeding them with your right hand. Okay, so that would be the hand opposite there. Okay, because you're holding yes. your leash with your left hand. The only time you have the cookie in your left hand is to get into place, and then you're going to reward them with your right hand. So cross your body and reward them. Cross your body and reward them. Cross yes. your body and reward them. Try not to give them the opportunity to get up, just keep feeding them. Say yes, reward, yes, reward, yes, reward, yes, reward, yes, reward, yes, reward. Yes, reward. Yes, reward. Yes, reward. Yes, I've got lots of treats, tons of treats. Yes. Anybody else running out of treats? So be sure to eat through the rest of the class. They're super, super rich, break them up in tiny pieces, okay? Anybody want to eat the You're going to be facing the same direction your dog is, and you're going to walk. All 
All right, you're going to turn to your right. Your right leg goes behind you, and you're just going to walk towards the wall. So you guys will be walking towards the blue wall. You guys on this side will be walking towards the brick wall. When you make that turn, at least call your dog's name. You need to first, or at least right. they don't sit. So say, right. okay, um, okay, heartbeat. Let's do your pivot, and keep an eye on them as you're moving. Okay, keep an eye on them as you turn. Don't just turn looking up at the light fixtures. I want you to turn and actually make eye contact with your dog. Okay? Give it a try. Jazzy. Come here, baby. Beautiful. Come here. All right. Fantastic. That was absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Jazzy. So that was uh, that was lovely, but this time with Jazzy, I want you to turn in front of Jazzy. I don't need you to move in oh, beside Jazzy. Okay. So Jazzy in front. You're just gonna like I'm ahead of you now. Back. You're gonna turn yeah. right in front, right where you are. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Very nice. Okay. Now the other thing I want you to start doing is rewarding your dog while they're moving, as opposed to giving them the cookie when you get to the wall. I want you to be able to give them two cookies on the way to the wall. Okay, good chance. We're doing leash walking. We need to acknowledge and reward the dog for walking and not stopping at the end, right? You've got to reward them for walking on the leash, okay? Now, the reason I want the dog sitting at the fence in the middle, facing the walls, is you'll know you've done it correctly when you get to the brick wall. And if we end up over on the side, now we're walking over towards the pool or we start making curvy turns, I want a nice straight pivot and go straight. Okay, give it a go. Okay, Jazzy. <laughs> okay, Jazzy. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine then. Okay, Jazzy. He doesn't want any more, that's why. I need to get him different treats. I love you, my. I love you. This is one smart puppet, guys. Okay, Jesse. Oh, these are better Okay. Beautiful. Good job, Jazzy. Okay. I just spilled treats all over the place. gets I'm hungry, he doesn't want it.
Not the down yet. I saw the line down on that. Oh, only with my hand signal though, not with oh. my Okay, then, so just keep doing that for, for now. Yeah, we're actually out of time, so I'm just going to call the class. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're, we're, at, we're at that time in the class. So just keep 